All right, so um, I'm going to show something here. Um, so I have my plane down here. I have the wing drawn um, just over my own plans. Really would be more accurate for a scale model probably to go to go straight from this three view. You know, I can even see a couple discrepancies already. Um, but since this is kind of dime scale, I want this project to be um, really based on on this plan I already drew. So, um, so you know, I'm I'm going from that. But I did import this three view from the blueprints.com. Credit to uh, whoever put it on there. And as you can see, you can get pretty nice resolution in QCAD, definitely good enough to trace the letters. So what I'm going to show here is I, I have this font Amarillo USAF. It's kind of the standard, you know, military racing aircraft font. And I put in this block and it's, it's pretty close to what's on the plane. You can see the fives are kind of different and the spacing's a little different. So it's, it's a bit more compressed especially with the spacing and the Y, and it looks like overall they're a little bit thinner. And so you might think, oh, well, I have to make the letters all the way from scratch. But actually there's this cool tool in QCAD called Explode Hotkey XP, and it lets you take some sort of pre-generated shape, whether it be text or an offset um, or whatever, and it splits it into little, little, small segments of lines and arcs. So I'm just going to take this XP, it sometimes takes a few, XP again, and there we see it went from a font entity into a bunch of lines. Um, well, now this might be this might be some sort of compound shape, but I'll bet I could explode this again, right? And now I can take each individual line segment and modify it. So for example, if I wanted the fives to match this, looks like really the only Well, okay, so it looks like the uh, sort of armpit of the five is goes straight here, and so does this. So I would just take the uh, LE 0 0.2 and extend this, or if it, if it wants to be cranky, I can just take this, restrict it horizontally, take a line here, restrict it vertically, Trim, trim, line, restricted horizontally, line, restricted vertically, trim, trim, trim. There we go. Five, you know, slightly closer to what they have on the plan. It's still, maybe I'd want to go back in and, you know, the proportions are a little bit off now because um, this, I think it looks like with this font, they really just took the two and, um, and kind of flipped it over to get a five there, but it's pretty close. So say I like this five, I'll you know, delete this, copy, and now I'll restrict it horizontally. So that's EH, SF to give me freedom of movement, independent of the grid. And now we got two fives. So now the question is, how do we line up these letters? So it's there, I size them to be the height that I want, but obviously the spacings a little bit off. Now I could compress them because it looks like they uh, they should be a little bit narrower, but I also want to move this Y in. So, you know, I think I'll, I'll take this SZ, size them, uh, unlock that proportionality. So we want to leave the Y scaling the same and let's say the X, we want to make it 90%. Um, and yeah, that's looking a little bit closer. Um, I think I think that actually looks pretty good. Um, if anything, now the letters are, are too squished together. But for the sake of this plane for dime scale, I think we're in pretty good shape right here. So just to overlay this to demonstrate that it's you know relatively close to what's shown. A um, little squished here and then a little spaced apart here, but um, not too bad at all. So I'll copy and paste this, and now I can show it over the wing that I've already drawn. Something like this. You can see my uh, carefully drawn letters there. So just to kind of line that up. I'm not too concerned about details, that exact scale fidelity. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. You know, maybe now I'll move around these 
wing rib labels to get them out of the way of the insignia. So I can do something like that. Uh, restrict it vertically. And there we go. Now those are not intersecting. So we have our details, we have our panel lines, and we have our letters moving right here.